Well, first here at five o'clock, the three men convicted of killing Ahmad Aubrey in Brunswick back in 2020 will soon know if a federal court will overturn the federal hate crime conviction against them. Last month marked four years since Aubrey's death. He was killed after he went out for a jog in a Glen County neighborhood in 2020. A jury convicted Greg and Travis McMichael, along with William Roddy Bryan in state court of chasing Aubrey down and shooting him to death in 2021. A judge sentenced each to life in prison. In 2022, a federal jury convicted all three of hate crime charges, believing they killed Aubrey because he was black. Today, a federal judge or federal judges heard arguments in an attempt to appeal that conviction. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley was in the courtroom. He's joining us live in downtown Atlanta with what's uh, happening in this case, Joe. Hey, good evening, Jennifer. We are live outside the U.S. 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. I was inside the courtroom earlier today, along with Ahmad Arbery's family and other activists, as judges heard arguments for and against upholding these federal hate crime charges. Marching in his memory, rallying to remember Ahmad Arbery. We gonna get 100% justice for Ahmad. Arbery's family and other activists stood outside the U.S. 11th Circuit Court of Appeals to make a statement and stand for justice. When we saw what happened at first, we thought this would be over with now. And for people to keep giving money for these people to appeal, and the way they took my nephew's life, this is destroying my family. Inside the courthouse, attorneys for Greg McMichael, his son Travis, and William Roddy Bryan argued in front of a three-judge panel to overturn a jury conviction on federal hate crime charges for all three men. That conviction was on top of the McMichaels being convicted on state murder charges and sentenced to life without parole in 2022. Bryan was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole in connection with a vigilante-style killing back in 2020. Our argument was based on a sufficiency of the evidence, which is, to be frank, an uphill climb in a criminal case. Attorney Pete Theodosian represents Brian. He argues based on the federal kidnapping statute, Brian joined in the chase for Arbery, not for self-gain, but because he thought he was doing a public service for the community. Attorneys for the McMichaels argue they did not attack Arbery because he was black or try to deprive him of a jog on a public street due to race. They rule against us. You can ask for a rehearing before the entire 11th Circuit. Uh, and then if there's, if in our professional judgment, there exists a, a split amongst circuits, uh, you know, we could appeal to the Supreme Court of the United States. And that is where this group is prepared to go, if necessary. We will continue to press for 100% justice, whether that's outside of the district court, outside of the 11th Circuit, outside of the Supreme Court of the United States. And it is unclear tonight when the U.S. Court of Appeals may make its ruling, but that decision is expected to come down within the next few weeks or months. Joe Ripley, thank you so much for bringing us that report.